start by rolling an A4 piece of paper into a tube long ways. Use some sticky tape to secure it in place. Now we need to bend our icy pole stick into a propeller. Use a lit candle and then twist the icy pole stick over the heat. Make sure that you get an adult to help you with this stage. Use a pair of scissors or a sharp object to put a hole in the middle of the propeller. Now we need to trim down the paper clip so we can fit it through the propeller hole. Use a pair of pliers to do this. Now we need to bend the end of the piece of wire to secure it to the propeller. Feed the paper clip through the hole and then secure it in place with some sticky tape. If you've got a hot glue gun, it will work better. Now take your bead and place it on this piece of paper clip. We're going to create a very simple bearing. Now cut the end off a spare icy pole stick. Now get the scissors again and make another hole in this icy pole stick. We're going to put it through the paper clip. Now use the pliers to create a loop on the end of the paper clip. Now we need to join three rubber bands together like so. Attach the rubber bands to the propeller. Now we need to feed the propeller rubber band through the main tube of the fuselage. Pull it all the way through and use the remainder of the paper clip to secure it in place at the other end. Now that the fuselage is complete, it's time to make the wings. Fold an A4 piece of paper in half and then get some scissors to cut it down the middle line. Get another piece of A4 paper and roll it up tightly.
Find the middle point and then cut the piece of paper in half. You should be left with two even lengths of paper. A piece of paper again to find the middle point. Do this for both pieces. Now stick the tube in the middle of the half piece of paper. This will add structural rigidity to the wing. Stick it in place with some sticky tape, or better yet, if you've got a hot glue gun, use that. Now stick the edge of the wing together with some tape. Place the wings along the fuselage about two thirds of the way towards the propeller. Stick it in place with some sticky tape or some hot glue. Flip it over and do the same for the other side. Now we need to do the tail wing. Get an A4 piece of paper, fold it in half, then fold it in half again. And then once more. Stick it down with some sticky tape along the flappy end. Now measure in about two centimeters from each end. Now fold the edges up. This will ensure that our plane goes in a straight line. Now place the wing behind the fuselage. Measure out the middle point. This is where we're going to mount it to the fuselage. Place the wing on the fuselage and then stick it down with some tape or a glue gun. Now 
Now it's time to wind it up, take it outside and have a test flight.